His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu uh, has uh, sworn uh, to uphold uh, the uh, highest standards of accountability, transparency, and integrity uh, in, in the way a public administration will be conducted uh, under his leadership. And uh, in view of uh, the recent uh, allegations uh, that have been uh, flying around uh, all, you know, platforms of the media, uh, it was uh, with the it was in the wisdom of the president to uh, inaugurate a, a an investigative uh, panel uh, that would be tasked with uh, conducting a comprehensive diagnostic. Uh, on the financial architecture and frameworks of the social investment programs to ensure that uh, we put in place uh, firewalls uh, that would uh, really enhance the integrity of those programs and ensure that the disadvantaged populations of our country that are intended to benefit from those programs are the exclusive beneficiaries of those programs. Uh, furthermore, of course, the President uh, has directed uh, the Executive Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, uh, to uh, conduct a thorough investigation uh, into uh, the uh, transactions uh, at question. Uh, and the President is going to ensure that uh, nothing uh, at all uh, will get in the way of that inv investigation being conducted in a fair uh, and transparent manner uh, and in a way that Nigerians would have a full confidence uh, that uh, whatever conclusion is arrived at is based only on the merits of the investigation and of the facts uh, on ground. And that is the commitment of the President. And to achieve that, he has, of course, uh, directed uh, the suspension uh, of the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. The President is more concerned with the thoroughness of the investigation. He's more concerned with the diligence of the investigation and the reliability of the findings uh, and outcomes of the investigation. Uh, so we don't want to uh, put the, the cart before the horse. Uh, we want to ensure that uh, the investigation that is being conducted by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission uh, is conducted in a way that uh, is, is transparent and in a way that uh, meets uh, all the uh, integrity tests uh, uh, that a, a world-class and proper investigation would demand. Uh, I think what is also important uh, is to note that uh, because the President has directed uh, the suspended minister to hand over to the permanent secretary of that ministry, uh, you would now have a situation in which uh, there is no encumbrance uh, to the smooth running of that ministry, even in view uh, of uh, the unfortunate uh, circumstances that have uh, prevailed in recent days uh, and hours. And I think it's also important for us to all acknowledge that we said from the beginning uh, during the campaign uh, that we were campaigning for a man who has a background in the private sector, who is about results and who is about uh, outcomes and achieving objectives. And we said, uh, even after his election, that this president is unlike any other we've elected. He is going to do what is right, and he's always going to stand up for what is in the interest of the Nigerian people. I believe today uh, Nigerians have seen that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a man of his word. He's a man of action, uh, and he's going to do uh, what is right, and he's going to do it quickly uh, to ensure that uh, what, whatever uh, the, the, the truth is behind the allegations, that it is, uh, it is revealed, uh, and that uh, wherever the course of justice takes this matter, uh, it, that justice is done.